Welcome! In this series we're gonna take a budget of 100 US dollars and see if we can find profit in flipping computers and their components. Now since we're not gonna be purchasing everything in US dollars because we use a different currency here called Georgian Lari, I'll be converting everything into US dollars because everybody more or so knows the value of a dollar, which means that our starting budget will be 270 Lari, which is 100 US dollars. So. Why don't we begin this amazing series and see what we can do. So I was checking our local market for used PCs and I came across this one computer which was being sold as is not working. The seller is basically saying that the system heats up, the fans are spinning, but the computer is giving no display. Now I was reading through this listing and I saw one thing. Let's zoom in on the picture. If we take a look at the RAM, you'll notice that one of the RAM sticks is not quite seated properly. And I was like, is that the issue? That can't be it, can it? So I basically took a gamble. The asking price was 100 lari, that is about 35 US dollars. I offered 80 lari, they agreed. I took the computer home, reseated the RAM, turned it on, and what do you know? everything's actually working everything's perfect this could not have gone any better i was extremely excited and honestly if i didn't manage to get this computer to work properly well when i took a gamble i kind of assumed that one of the components might be faulty such as the motherboard which would have been the worst case scenario because that's the most expensive component here the gpu could have been dead we don't care, it's only a GT710. It also could have been the RAM, the power supply, or even the hard drive. But one thing that I really did not want to be dead was the motherboard. Which it turned out amazing actually, because everything works fine. So now that we have inspected everything and have confirmed that the computer works fine so far, we're gonna take a moment, see what our options are, think about it and figure out how we want to move forward from here. Alright team, it's the next day we are back in action. We have finally disassembled the computer. Every part is right here. Obviously the motherboard, the CPU, the CPU cooler, RAM, PSU, the HDD, the cable and the GPU. Uh, by the way, we have a buyer coming for the GPU. We are gonna sell it for about $12 because we can't really use a GT710, it's a really old and weak GPU, it's not a gaming GPU, we can't really do anything about it. And uh, obviously the CPU has integrated graphics and if we do want to sell the computer as an office PC, still we don't really need a GPU, so we're gonna sell it for about $12. And also the CPU, the 4th Gen i3, I do want to get rid of it, I want to sell it for about, if not $8 to $10, maybe at least $5 because I really don't want to use an i3, nobody wants an i3, but if you have an i7 sitting in the computer, everybody wants an i7, it sells a lot better. So that's what we're gonna do, I have a buyer lined up for the GPU actually, he's gonna come in one hour, we're gonna be selling that and also the case is right there, we're gonna sell the case as well, I don't wanna use that really old case, we're gonna use an RGB case with a side panel. So. Those are the plans and uh, let's see how it goes and we're gonna be back in a few minutes. Alright, so this is a quick update. We have finally sold the i3 processor. We have also sold the old case that we had left. The GPU is also sold. And now we have bought this i7 processor that we have put in here. We also bought this uh, case right here I just did a review still working on doing better reviews but um, uh, here is the case we actually are gonna be building in that case and here is basically all of our components that we're gonna need and I'm actually I'm gonna talk about this later on this is an SSD that I kind of received as a gift but we're gonna include this and put a price on it because I don't want to include free stuff in this uh, challenge so this is basically where we are and uh, let's get into the building and talk a bit about how things went.
So, as I was building the computer, I noticed that the CPU power cable did not reach. That was our first and thankfully the only issue. So then I started looking for cable extensions and I came across this cable extension kit on Newegg for $5, which is really cheap nowadays. And since I do not live in the United States, I use a freight forwarder that basically ships anything that I order from the US to me so we had to pay extra $5 on top of the shipping. And since we only used the EPS cable from this kit, that means that we have this 24-pin motherboard and two of these 6 plus 2 PCIe cables left for us to use in the future. And honestly, all things considered, I think everything turned out quite well. So now that this episode is coming to an end, let's make a summary of how much money we started with how much we paid for each component, how much we have left, and what are our plans moving forward. So on the screen we have a summary of how much money we started with, how much we have left, and how much money we spent and earned in this episode. I gotta say that I really wanted to squeeze in a gaming GPU in here, but I just couldn't because we had to buy that extension kit. Regarding to the 120GB SSD, I got it for free from a relative that I helped with a PC upgrade, so I was like, why don't I just use this SSD in here and put a price on it? Besides, this is approximately how much I would pay for it and we needed to put an SSD in here anyway. So all in all, I'm quite satisfied with how everything turned out. At this point we just need to wait for our PC to sell so that we can build a real gaming PC cause $100 is not that much of a money and it's really difficult to work with such a tight budget. I'm honestly really excited for the next episode. I never thought that working on this series would be so satisfying. And I guess that marks the end of this episode. I will try to do at least one episode per month, assuming that we can sell our PCs that fast. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned. And of course, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.